Hi, this is Michael from REA. We're installing today a solar power system and Tesla Powerwall 2 for one of our clients that has a beautiful Tesla Model S, as you can see below. So we're gonna show you just some of the uh, installation techniques and uh, meet some of the team. Thank you. Here's one of our solar vans for the installations. You can see through here, here's our Model X. Powered by REA Solar. That's pretty cool. As you can see in there is the Tesla Powerwall ready to be installed. Beautiful car. Okay, our clients have a Tesla Model S as you can see there with their charge station on the wall. We're going to power it up with REA Solar. The installation is an AC micro system, which means we don't have a central string inverter, so we can maximize the performance of the panels and give you more performance per square meter. Okay, so this is where the power wall is going to go. That's the installation manual. And this is Lincoln, one of our team members working on the board. Say hi, Lincoln. How you going? Um, so one of the benefits of the REA solar system that's coupled with the Tesla Powerwall is the safety aspect of it. So with a standard DC system you have upwards of four or five hundred volts on your roof which is a uh, potential for fires and stuff like that. Um, but with the S system it's just a standard 240 volt AC on your roof so yeah it's, it's a lot safer than, than your standard DC system. Fantastic and the performance aspect as well yeah. every panel maximizing its performance. That's right so each each panel is individual. Um, so with a standard DC system, if one panel is affected, the whole string's affected, which can be up to 10, 12 panels. But with this system, it's just a single panel. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Great, thanks Lincoln. No worries. Okay, that was Lincoln, one of our team members. Here's the Model S again. Back out to the car. The other benefit of our systems as well uh, is, is we, we try to look at every single aspect of the solar system, uh, maintaining the, the performance and quality, but also the durability of the system. One of the important parts of, of the solar system is in fact the transport on uh, how we, we get it to site. So as you can see here, what we have is we have a van which has all of the electrical components, but we also have a ute as well. And the reason why we, we typically use a ute to transport the panels is you can see here we use a special plastic spacing system. So if we come down here, you can see the box full of the, full of the, uh, the spaces. Now, the beauty of these plastic spaces uh, in our system is that uh, it, it stops the damage of the panels in transit. So one of the biggest problems in solar power now is micro cracks. Now, there's a lot of uh, a lot of argument on on micro crack snail trails with solar panels, how they're created, um, and uh, and whether they affect the overall and, and and long term performance of the system. But at the end of the day, if you've got panels that are rattling around in the back of a ute or in the back of a car, um, they're tied down with a with a uh, with with a tie down too tight, uh, you're going to affect the integrity of the cells, which which in turn will cause micro crack. So it doesn't matter how uh, high quality your modules are, if you don't transport them correctly, you will get long-term um, degradation and, and performance effects uh, due to, to micro cracks and, and uh, the, the panel integrity itself being compromised. So it's one thing we focus heavily on is not just the performance of the system, the development of solar power, but also the transport on uh, how we get it to site. So um, this is Michael from REA signing off. If you've got any questions, just uh, post it in the comments below. Thank you.